Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is the video finally everybody's probably been waiting for. Uh, this video is going to show you how to back up any retail PS3 game uh, using Multiman. So the first thing is I will show you what firmware I'm on. If you haven't seen my previous video showing you how to install uh, custom uh, firmware on 3.55 and then showing you how to update that to a, like a later um, or a different custom firmware um, I highly recommend to go watch those videos uh, the link will be in the description or uh, annotation on the screen uh, so yeah once you've seen those videos and I've showed you how to jailbreak and update uh, to you know your custom firmware you can uh, carry on with this video so in system settings in system information as you can see, I am on version 4.78, which is currently the highest uh, firmware that PS3 runs on. So this is custom firmware 4.78. Um, as you can see, I have got uh, the package files. So once you have installed uh, Multiman, as you can see, there's my Multiman. You just want to uh, click on Multiman. Okay, so now it's loaded. Just uh, put in the uh, game of your choice. So I'm going to choose. I've got here, which is um, one of my brother's mate's games that he uh, borrowed. Um, it's one of the Lego games, Lego Indiana Jones 2, I think it is. Yeah, L Lego Indiana Jones 2. I'm going to be backing that up because he's going to want it back soon. So it comes in handy for you know things like that or if you're in america and you've you've got places that you can rent games from it's good so you can you know rent a game and basically keep it for yourself on your uh hard drive so as you might have heard i've just put in the game there we go as you can see it's loaded up there um all you, all you need to do is simply press triangle, uh, obviously scroll over to game, don't be on video or music or anything. Go to game, press triangle and click the button here that says copy. Just scroll up to copy and click X. And here it's going to ask you where you want to uh, install the, uh, um, the game. And mine, I've got a USB plugged in. Uh, sorry, a USB hard drive, which will be a separate video. It's not a USB mem um, memory stick, but it is a uh, external hard drive. Uh, I will show you in a, a later video, or probably in the following video, how to uh, up. Uh, sorry, how to use an external hard drive on your PS3 because it's not as simple as just plugging it in and away you go. Because some aren't formatted to the right uh, settings, and uh, you can't can't use them but for this sake i'm going to use my uh, ps3 hdd which is the internal uh drive or the internal not drive internal uh hard drive and uh just click x on that it's going to ask you do you want to copy this game click yes and it's uh start doing it so i will uh, come back once it's done now once the process has finished you should get this uh this little screen here that just says uh, done files complete uh, and that means just everything's successful if you do get an error or any kind of error most likely it will mean your your game's too scratched and it couldn't be able to do it or it could just be some sort of unknown error and you might have to do it again and it work the second time but most uh, most of the time it might be because your disk is too uh, scratched to be able to read all the data to be able to make it into a ISO or into a you know a playable um, file so once once it's done just click uh, click square like it says and it should take you back to this home screen now you can see I've got two showing up here that's just because the game is still in so I will take that out now take the game out uh, sometimes it will disappear it should do and sometimes it doesn't okay if it does glitch out like that and doesn't disappear, it doesn't matter. But this one down here is the actual game. As you can see, I've already copied over Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty 4. Uh, so, yeah, once uh, you have copied your game over, what you want to do next is push square. And it will bring you this, uh, this sort of dialer box up. And you've got a few things here that you can do. You can copy, delete, rename, update, test, and 
uh, permissions. Now, the I, the one thing I don't get about because I've got my PS3 Fat 60 gig that's been modded uh, that I can do the same thing, and same with a Slim which I'm using now. On this option over to the left, as you can see, where, where I'm moving the uh, moving up and down the 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 one that says BD uh, mirror. Not on my other PS3. It's normally uh, it's normally white like the rest of them. I'm not sure why it's it's sort of blacked out. But I can still push it to select it. Uh, now you will want to do that for yours, no matter if it is uh, uh, greyed out or not. It's it doesn't matter. It still works. Just I'm not sure why uh, it, it looks like that on the slim. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you just want to make sure that's selected, and then for uh, for the left hand side, you want to make sure internal is selected because obviously we copied it over to the internal hard drive, and it's not a uh, game disc, so. You want to make sure it's on internal and uh, BD um, mirror. And once you've done that, just click permissions, which will save the settings. As you can see, it quickly pops up and says saving. And now what you need to do is click X on the game uh, you want. So obviously the game we just copied, click X. Now it should bring you back to the X and B menu and you just want to uh, depending on your set uh, settings, mine's uh, uh, I've I've set mine a bit different. Mine shows up as the actual as if the disc was uh, uh, plugged in. Um, it's plugged in, but you know inserted, which it's not. It's obviously a vert. It's basically like a virtual kind of disc. Uh, but it is the full game. I will show that in a second. Um, if it doesn't show up like this, you it might show up. There should be. A, a folder here next to these folders here and it should say PlayStation 3 just hover over that and it should do the same thing with this like you know it should pop up saying you know whatever game you've copied over um, so yeah I will I'm going to go over to the webcam now and show you that uh, you know the proof that the game is not in and that this you know does work fully so I will see you in a second to show you the proof so here is the final part of the video. This is where I'm going to show you the proof. As you can see, here is the game that I did as an example. Uh, just open it up. As you can see, there is no uh, you know fake in here. The game is in the box. Um, so I will move the camera. Yeah, the box with the disc. Here is my PS3. As you can see there, there is no listen. There is no disk inside the drive, uh, so I'm going to skip over to, um, as you can see, my webcam there. Just go over to the channel, the HDMI channel. Hopefully you can see all this. Uh, if you just scroll over, and as you can see, it's there. And still, there's nothing there. The game is in the box. Click X on it. And just let it load up. Still remember the game is here in my hand. Obviously it's going to ask me to update. I won't update for now. But like I said, you can uh, you can actually you know, physically use the full game to its potential. So if it's multiplayer, you can go on multiplayer. If uh, you know it has trophies, like so... You, know, you can go on trophies and updates as well. Um, I wouldn't recommend going online uh, if you haven't used a few other programs, but that will be a later video as well, showing you how to not get banned on your PS3. But this is obviously just showing you how to actually burn games to your, your uh, hard drive. As you can see, it's loading down there. There you go. As you can see, we are in game. This is obviously no fake. Press start. Scroll up and down. Push X. And as you can see, there is the proof. Uh, hopefully that's enough proof. Whoop. So there we are. Uh, that's about it really. Uh, that's the proof. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video showing you how to burn any uh, retail PS3 game onto your uh, PS3's hard drive. Uh, in another video, I will show you how to uh, use an external hard drive. Now, 
the same process will be the same with uh, inst- you know installing the game. It's just the whole hard drive part of it will be the the tutorial showing you actually on the computer how to set it up, and then obviously you can plug it into your console and use it uh, as a almost like a USB and install the games onto there. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smack that like button. Uh, also, we it would be very grateful if you could uh, share this video around uh, you know, letting people know and yeah that's about it so I do hope you enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one